Hi, everybody. Happy Friday night and a welcome to another edition of my weight loss story. And a special thank you and welcome to everybody in my new private Facebook group, my weight loss story, Conrad Bombardier. If you are not a member and something that you want to be part of, go and search it on Facebook, check it out. You'll see the picture of me, Vince, and Adam. And on day 1000, uh, which will be November 17th of my journey, uh, we will do something extra um, to kind of help motivate. And all of us who are interested can just take part of living a healthier life, doing something for you, motivating each other, um, something that we can all do to just kick it in high gear, especially over this winter and just really start feeling good about ourselves. So today is 980 days for me. Uh, I was excited to have a Friday. I'm excited to be home all week. I'm excited that I went to the gym, uh, had dinner, uh, which was um, a burrito bowl, which was super good. And I did the rice and instead of ground beef, I used a ground turkey um, with some salsa and a little bit of cheese. It was great. It was perfect to fuel me before the gym. I uh, had a really good workout with back, biceps, core. Uh, I wrote to Adam today, gave him my update, and uh, he said that he's been planning this workout for me. So, uh, Adam, they're, they're good ones. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it and uh, feel great and uh, got a nice little pump on. So, thank you very much. Um, I'm excited to be getting close to celebrating 1,000 days of this new lifestyle. And I think everybody, that's the biggest part of the name, you know, that I will underline is lifestyle. It's definitely not a race. It's not something that, hey, uh, I'm going to do this and buckle down. And this is what I've done my whole life up to this point. I would gain weight or I was bigger until I got sick of it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to go on a diet. And then once that was done, then I kind of slowly went back to all my ways because I would deprive myself of things. I didn't change my lifestyle. I just was very disciplined to the point where it wasn't, it's not healthy. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your system. And the last one that I had done, because I'll call them fads, um, because it's all sorts of different things, right? Ray washers kicks in and everybody's on a kick. And, you know, then there was, what a beach body and then everybody was on that kick right and then not saying that those are bad programs but they were just fads that everybody jumped on and then keto was a big one and i think a lot of people still are doing keto um or um intermittent fasting and whatever in the end is going to work for you but for me with dieting my whole life off and on when i saw the v-shred program I knew that that was it, that that was something that was sustainable. That was something that no matter how picky you were on food, and trust me, I was the pickiest person, ask anybody who knows me well, so picky that no matter what, I could still be accommodated to be healthy, to eat healthy, to change my lifestyle, to start with only 20 minutes a day of exercise. I mean, Truthfully, ask yourself, everything that you do during the day, you can probably find 20 minutes to just invest in yourself. And that's what I did. I was like, you know what? I waste 20 minutes doing other things that I can just take that 20 minutes and just invest in me. And when I started doing that, I started feeling much better. I started feeling and seeing the small successes. And I talked about that with Matilda, who had been commenting when she said that it took her 30 minutes to do, you know, push up. And I think that's so awesome that you didn't give up, that you did it until you got your push up done. I think that's incredible and amazing. And I was able to give some, you know, tips where you can start on your knees or even I just saw in V Shred Plus with Ryan, he was using against the wall. And you can do it against the wall and then you can back up and get more of an angle against the wall. And then you can actually get to yourself to a point where you can do a full push-up. Gradually increase. You don't need to go, I'm going to say balls to the walls to like the most extensive program. I remember way back in Lonsdale, 
I just went from not exercising to doing P90X. I couldn't walk for days. I couldn't go upstairs, it hurt so bad. That unmotivated me because it hurt so bad. Choosing this program, 20 minutes a day, I'm not gonna say that I wasn't hurting or that I still don't get my sore days, but it's more of a good sore. It's not the fact that you're crippling uh, and it gets better when you are sore and when you are gonna start, you are gonna be sore. But look at it as those are muscles that you haven't been using that you are now breaking down to get bigger, to get stronger, to start getting yourself in shape. And as you continue, it just gets easier and easier and easier. And that 20 minutes turns into 40 minutes, turns into an hour. And not like you need to, but it ends up being a passion. I would have never thought that I would look forward to going to the gym. And I look forward to it on long days to just take time for you, what you need. We're so busy in our lives. There's so much going on. There's so much noise that's happening around us. Shut it down. I used to find other ways to shut that down before and they were not healthy. Choosing exercise, choosing to invest into a healthier you is gonna keep you here on this earth a hell of a lot longer. For the ones that are around you, that you love you and surround you, that, that you surround yourself with. And you're still going to find a way to take care of all that noise, no matter what that is. So, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're investing in yourself. I'm glad that you're interested in doing something and join that group. Let's do it together. Let's work together. Let's take it to another level. November 17th on a thousand days, we're going to get it done. So... Uh, today was my day two of my volume five of the workouts. I did go up 0.8 uh, of a pound this morning, 224.6. Uh, I made myself a coffee, a nice, very large coffee. I'm going to relax. Um, I'm going to have make my snack next, which is rice cakes with peanut butter. So I'm excited. And I'm going to play some games. I've been excited for this game to come out. It came out today. Uh, I've already played the campaign, and uh, now that I got everything done, Ethan's at the football game. Uh, I'll probably see him after or early tomorrow morning for breakfast uh, while he hangs out with his friends, and then we're going to go to the gym together and have a fun day. So, um, everyone, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. And last but not least, uh, we're going to do something different. So... Rather than taking a piece of paper and writing all the names on, uh, I did promise that anybody that was in that wrote on my uh, Facebook, sorry, YouTube uh, page on the videos, that I would do the drawing for the fat loss stack. So uh, I had three entries and maybe you'll be able to see there's a glare. So I've got a little spinner. We're going to see how this works, uh, which... I just need to state before I do it that hopefully, um, you know, with the winners, uh, you just got to be in the United States. The only thing that the problem is with shipping out of country um, is there has been some fees. So, and we want to avoid that because it's free. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you're in within the United States. Um, and then, obviously, then, Mom, if you win, uh, I'll hold it for you until you come and uh, you can grab it. So, with that, we have Mom, Helen, uh, you are red. Angie, you are purple, and Matilda, you are green. So I've got the names on there, if you can see that. We're gonna spin, and we're gonna see who our winner is of the fat loss stack. That was much better than a piece of paper, right, everybody? And Angie, you are the winner of the fat loss. Hold on, can I hold it right? So you can see it. There you are. Angie, you're the winner. Congratulations, I know you've been enjoying your greens. Uh, thank you for your support, everybody. Have a great Friday night, and we will talk to you soon. Be kind. Bye-bye.